The road from Texas to Alberta is a long one, but even longer is the road from slave to successful ranch owner. These are the paths that John Ware traveled on his way to becoming one of the most successful and honored ranch owners in the province of Alberta. Ware was born into slavery sometime between 1845 and 1850 in South Carolina. After slavery was abolished in 1865, John Ware traveled west, where he found work as a cowboy in Texas. By the late 1870s, Ware had gained a wealth of experience as a cowboy, driving herds to far-off ranges in the Montana and Wyoming territories. In 1882, he was hired to take 3,000 head of cattle from Texas and Montana to the Canadian prairies. Leaving in the spring, John Ware traveled more than 1,000 miles, herding the cattle to Alberta's Diamond Valley near the Rocky Mountain foothills, arriving in early September. When he got there, he realized that experienced cowboys were much in demand in his northern ranching frontier. So he made the decision to stay in Alberta and make Canada his new home. But it wasn't long before his entrepreneurial drive exceeded his desire to drive cattle. While working for other ranches, he started building up his own herd by choosing to accept some of the wages of cattle. By 1890, he had more than 200 branded cattle and was owner of a ranch on the North Fork of Sheep Creek near Millerville, Alberta. But tragedy struck in 1902. Heavy floods destroyed Ware's home and much of his ranch. Undaunted, he and his wife moved to higher ground and built a new ranch in a place now called Ware Creek. Under his skilled guidance, this new ranch quickly grew to be more than a thousand head. This would become the final chapter in Ware's remarkable life story. In 1905, Ware was killed in a fall when his horse tripped in a badger hole. But before he died, he achieved great wealth and success. He also changed racial perceptions and played a leading role in the development of Canada's western ranching industry. Today, there are many places in Alberta keeping the memory of John Ware alive, including Ware Creek, Mount Ware, and John Ware Ridge. And in 2012, the Canada Post issued a commemorative stamp featuring John Ware. All this is a proud tribute to the dynamic cowboy who over the course of his lifetime would triumph over racism, discrimination, and barriers to become a legendary trailblazing entrepreneur in the Alberta cattle industry.